So as many of you guys know, I recently made a video talking about the Hive server having a problem with hackers and that video got a decent amount of traction, started a discussion in the community about hackers, which is why I wanted in the first place to bring more awareness about this. Now I didn't expect a response from the Hive themselves, however, Closure, one of the higher ups in the Hive staff made a comment in that video explaining their perspective on the Hive hacker situation and what they're doing to resolve this. And I'll be reading it to you guys and breaking it down so we can get some sort of closure about this annoying situation that we're all dealing with as a community. But before that though, if you guys can drop a like and subscribe if you're new, that would mean a lot to me. But let's get right into this. So I'm reading word by word what Splooger said himself. So he says, We really hate hackers, and we understand how frustrating that can be. We actually have a full-time developer that we employ solely to work on our anti-cheat system. And our anti-cheat is updated on an almost daily basis. One of the realities of being one of the biggest Minecraft servers is that there are many people who spend a lot of time developing workarounds specifically for our anti-cheat checks and systems. Systems, it makes it a never-ending game of cat and mouse. We're also working on an in-game reporting system and a replay system which will make handling cheaters a lot easier and efficient. For now, be sure to report any cheaters you see in our dedicated channel on our official Discord server. Rest assured, we're always working on the anti-cheat, but it is a, and never will be a case of just fixing it. Now, first things first, I appreciate Splooger taking the time to watch the video and responding in a way which answers a lot of our questions and doubts about the anti-cheat. Now, it's no secret that the community knows that the anti anti-cheat most of the time doesn't work. However, the main reason why that doesn't work is because, is as Splooger says, there are people who dedicate their time developing workarounds specifically for anti-cheat, which is why they're always updating their anti-cheat on a daily basis to combat this. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't understand is the fact that they're one of the biggest servers out there for Bedrock, which means there will be people hacking always and forever. That's just the way it is. However, they are working on two solutions, one of them being a in-game reporting system, which the Hive community has wanted for such a long time where you can report people in game pretty much a slash report with said person's name and the other solution being a replay system which will make handling cheaters a lot easier and efficient for now if you don't know the only way to report cheaters is to go on their official discord server and the only problem i've had with this is the fact that there are a lot of people who don't know that they even have a discord server to begin with and some people can't even make discord servers at all so it definitely does make it frustrating when they see a hacker and they can't report it because there's no in-game reporting system but like i said they're currently working on this and it's something that will be coming to the future very soon the last part he says rest assured we're always working on the anti-cheat but this isn't something that will just be fixed at a snap of a finger and all they're doing is their best and all we can do is be patient and support them in this crisis of hackers by the way if you're one of those people who are developing workarounds specifically for the hive anti-cheat i just want to say touch some grass please but there you have it boys hopefully this gives you guys some sort of closure answers some of you guys questions about this and overall i'm really happy that we have a community that speaks out about things and we have a server that listens to their community and works on it. Now this next part of this video has nothing to do with the response anymore. This is just something I found really funny. I was streaming yesterday and I've been told that the Asia and Europe is notorious for having a lot of hackers. So I decided to do a speed run. How many games it would take for me to run into a hacker. And well, you just have to watch the rest to see how many games it took me to run into any hackers. If you're just joining in, I am currently doing a detective thingamajig where I try to find hackers. Bet, boys, how many games do you think it's gonna take before I find a hacker? I'm gonna say three. All right, let's go right here. Oh, hacker, where are you? So far, I don't feel any 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 vibes that have been not vibey, you know? Feels like a normal game. Nothing wrong. Oh, wait, did you guys see that? Hey, wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. I'm gonna need you to bridge. Something look a bit off about that. The way the person bridged, kind of sus. Oh, way. Um. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, it took one game. It took one game. Speed run completed, boys. We're out. Dang it. That is so funny. It actually took one game. A yeah, beacon spammer. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Yes, second game, boys. Oh, let's go. Come to me, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Two game. That is, that is so mind blowing to me. One game in Europe, two games in Asia. That is absurd. Yeah, that's. 
there you have it boys thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it and if you watched till the end i appreciate you here have a taco stay beautiful as always and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye